I don't know who I don't know who invited you, but I'm gonna say somebody's really sarcastic. You talking to me? You talking to me? He can't be talking to me. Bob, I'm not real. I guess the puppet there, Bob. I think the sun's getting to him. Coming up. Lake Erie accounts for 80% of Ontario's commercial fishery, and it's clear to see why. Walleye and steelhead are very abundant in the lake. On today's show, Bob heads to Erio on the north shore of Lake Erie to troll for walleye with Captain Paul Powis of J&P Charters. He's joined by vocal illusionist Mark Crocker and his very special friend, Chester. This is bound to be one of the most unique episodes of real fishing you've ever seen. Real fishing on a Erio. Here comes. Whoa. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Look at that big laser. Yeah. Ah, huge. Oh, baby. That thing is a monster. Whoa. <laughs> the Real Fishing Show with Bob Izumi. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I got one. <laughs> Look at that thing! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Look at those teeth! Oh, there we go. <laughs> <Bobby> Zuby! <laughs> Alright! Woohoo! Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, nice. <laughs> Whoa! Alright! Way to size this pen. Real fishing is sponsored by Chevrolet. Mercury, number one on the water, and Tim Hortons. Hey, folks, that's what I call real fishing. Hey, it's the last day of July, and it's early in the morning. I'm down in my old stomping grounds, Erio, and I'm with uh, Charter Captain Paul Powis. How hey, you Bob, doing, Paul? I'm very well, hey, thank you. Thanks for taking us out today. You've got J&P Charters. Yes, sir. And uh, you're right here in Erio, and we got, uh, well, some special uh, guests. Uh, today. Yes, oh, you're making special sound like I came in on a short bus there, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I've never fished with Chester or Mark Crocker before. Now, uh, you guys go hand in hand? I'll, I'll, I'll leave the jokes up to the professionals, will you? Hand in hand. That's funny. I just laugh at the guy. He's the big TV guy. <laughs> yeah, well, this, this is going to be interesting because I'm not sure who's catching the fish today. Uh, I don't know. Not, can not can not a sure puppet fish? I, I know. Do I need a license? <laughs> oh, are you, under, are you under 16? Ah, <laughs> uh, sure, sure. If it's gonna work that way, it's um, yeah. Count my rings. All right, all right. That's good. Okay, well, let's get out on the water. It's getting late. Well, it's not really late, but we're gonna go do a little steelhead fishing. Maybe a few walleyes yes, too. Yes, sir. All right, Lake Erie fishing. Glad you could be with us, Chester. Come on. I'm driving. Okay, we'll swing around. Rigger, Bob. Okay, well, we're just you setting up here. Doubleheader already? <laughs> Doubleheader. Okay. We'll just take that, uh, just take that uh, flicker off right there. Okay. Right on that side. That didn't take long at all. We're not even set up here while well, we are. Uh, with... She's just the wee one. I'm not even sure I got anything now, do I, yeah? Oh. Now, this is your little dipsy doodle here, isn't it? A <laughs> dipsy doodle. <laughs> just set up here. Not sure what we got on. Bob is just playing nothing. He's just got a big weight on the end there. Chester, do you want to fight this <laughs> fish for a this while? This is, oh, hang on, let you do it there, big guy. <laughs> you know, this is this is a, quite, quite the sport. That's uh, This is a sport? That's right. This is a sport like um, bowling is a sport. That would make Bob an athlete. Hey, wait, wait. We're starting off with the wrong species of fish. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Chester. What are we looking at here? We're talking a freshwater drum, a sheephead. That is a... That's a decent sized fish. Well, if there is such a thing with a sheephead. Ten bucks, first guy who pushes Izumi in the water. <laughs> 
There we go. Mr. Sheep. Aren't you supposed to kiss these things before you let them go? This would be like kissing a cow. Come on there, Bob. Beggars shouldn't be choosers. <laughs> All righty. Good stuff. Okay. Well, you That's notice you didn't give them the real fancy, you know, oh, wait, drop I in the water there. Did you want to take that home to eat? <laughs> Chester, do you eat fish? I don't think I'm eating that kind of a thing there. Bob didn't want it, I don't want it, you know, and heck, Bob's half Scottish, and he's going to get rid of it. You know something's wrong with that fish. <laughs> this is really weird. I'm talking to a puppet. What's going on? <laughs> and I'm talking to, never mind what you're talking to. Bob, you, I thought the fish was supposed to be a healthy food. You must, oh, is that Count Filet fish? <laughs> hey, you looking at my stomach. <laughs> Just a second, I, uh, oh, I'm going to do an impression of Bob backing up. Doot, doot, doot. All right, all right. Like that'll see television. <laughs> Boy, has he ever got nice blue eyes. Hey, hey, hey now. There's more trolling with Bob and Chester coming up. I think I saw Bob's eyes open. <laughs> uh -oh. Most of your shows, of course, are in the evening for the most part. I, we, we specialize with the, the corporate market, so we don't do the bars, we don't do the clubs, but the corporate after dinner and, uh, and the resorts during the summertime, that's a, uh, a unique little situation there. How many years have you been doing this now? What would you call yourself, a comedian and... Uh... Well, when you say ventriloquist, people go, oh no, I won't cross the road for ventriloquist. So you say, uh, if you say comic, then they're thinking you're using the bad language and the material. Right. But, so, but I've gone with vocal illusionist, and then they go, hmm, wow, that's... So it, it's comedy delivered through my vehicle as ventriloquism. But no bars, no clubs, it's strictly uh, corporate, clean material. And, uh, and we've been full-time now for the last seven years. So seven years. Eh? Done it for 30. And the good thing is your co-workers, um, uh, Chester and who's the old fellow? Elmer. 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 They, don't, they don't cost a lot to eat. Usually, they don't get their own rooms, do they? Their own well, hotel. they also don't help me drive. No, they don't, eh? <laughs> you know, it's amazing, Mark. You know, we get out here fishing, and it really will rock you to sleep. I see Chester's having to sleep already. <laughs> the uh, vocal illusionist has one on. Oh yeah, get the get the oh oh what no? Oh, he's not on. Oh, that's awful. I can't believe it. I set the hook. Obviously not hard enough. I tell you, when Chester gets up, he's gonna be he'll mad. Get on the, he'll get online and tell everybody. Right on. Take that, take that clicker off. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, nice. <laughs> I just got okay. comfortable. Let's hope this one stays on. Yeah, that would be nice. So far, Bob has knocked off every fish I've had <laughs> on my line. I don't know how he does it, but that's why it makes it look like he catches all the fish. <laughs> what have we you got know, here? I can tell you're lying. Your lips are moving. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, that's good. I was worried you were going to get skunked out here. You, you, would, you wouldn't make uh, his charter business look good if you <laughs> lost everything. <laughs> now this is, what, wait, what class do you call that? 2003. 2003. You're making it sound like a fine wine. It is. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that, yeah that's a lot better eating than those great big jumbos. Oh, you can put it in the ice chest. Ah, yes. You've got company. All right. I guess. I guess. Go it's... ahead. <laughs> it's my turn. Turn off the clicker. <laughs> <laughs> you know, picking your turns is very important. <laughs> that was good. 
Paul saw that thing go off, he says, steelhead, right off the bat. That's rainbow action when that rod starts thumping. Oh boy, this got to be a big fish because I think I saw Bob's eyes open. <laughs> oh, I think Chester is awake. Here we go. This is, if you need any help there, buddy, just let me know. All right, well, I I'll don't I'll just know. coach you there if you don't mind there, you know. I don't know, it's Chester, have you been up all night? Is this real fishing or fake fishing there, Bob? I, I haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like I finally <laughs> made it in the big time. Because, you know, seeing the Muppets over the years, they had a lot of celebrities on there. I guess having Chester with me is pretty much, you know... Well, I always thought it was Bob. No, no, Wayne, who had his hand up your shirt. That, you know. <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> We're not that close. <laughs> What do we got? Okay. Rainbow trout. Look at that. No pressure, no pressure. Moving in, moving. You know, hey, it does look like a nice size. Alrighty. Nothing but net. Got the Beckman slid under it, and we're in business. Big old dipsy diver here. The poor man's downrigger. <laughs> the poor man? No, they're not that cheap, are they? <laughs> the poor man. <laughs> Have you been reading your fishing magazines? <laughs> Look at that's what we're talking about right there. Chrome fish. Right there. Is that what it's all about? Yep. That's why we're here. Try to get them over your belly there, Bob. <laughs> I don't that's know. Who, I don't know who fish. invited you. <laughs> But I'm going to say, somebody's really sarcastic. You talking to me? You talking to me? <laughs> he can't be talking. Bob, I'm not real. <laughs> I'm just a puppet there, Bob. <laughs> I think the sun's getting to him. How come I don't have glasses? I don't know. He's gonna I need a sponsor, Bob. Does your man do glasses? <laughs> <laughs> no, but Sprite King do. But I need a sponsor. Those blue eyes, you know, it's got to be hard on you. Hey, I, haven't, I haven't been in sea that long. Oh, what do we got here? Another fish? Oh, here yeah. we go. You, you want this Okay, one? steady. Keep it steady. Don't be setting the hook too much there. I, you know, it's amazing how Who's fast the fishing is. Well, we, haven't been out, we haven't been out that long, really. No, we've you know, been out here for less than an hour. We got okay. a walleye. Got a good shake to him. All of a sudden, the captain's got to right. start working for a living. Yep. <laughs> I'll tell you what. They all seem to be about the same size, these big yep. old walleye. Yep. Walleye. They, they are. Look at that. This one sucked that spoon right in, you can see. All righty. Hey there, folks. We'll be right back with some real fishing. When I do it, it's real fishing. Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. When choosing lures for any fishing trip, the most important consideration is profile. Individual species have distinct preferences. Trout and bass favor a stout package that provides a solid meal in one gulp. Walleye, on the other hand, prefer long, slender targets. Crankbaits designed specifically for these fish are shaped this way. Fat lures may trigger a few active walleye, especially when fast moving, but give them a better look and this is what you get. The same is true of soft plastics and organic man-made baits. Walleye really go for slim imitations. Because they're more durable than live bait, they produce several fish per setup. That adds up to more time in the water and less fussing. One thing we noticed is that walleye prefer to hit any bait from behind, regardless of shape. In stationary jigging, they'll literally swim around to line things up just right. The best way to exploit this behavior is by drifting. Using the wind or a trolling motor, maintain a dead slow pass over proven holding areas and structure. Vary the depth from right on bottom to well above and experiment with added action. It's a proven technique and really nothing new. But then, tube jigs are. Intended for bass, we tried them on walleye in several locations. We wouldn't have believed it, but they outfished all the old favorites. For those of you people at home, I think we are now on Bob's fourth sheephead. Um, 
test that? I think it's four. I didn't know you could count. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bob, when it comes to, to you know, the keeping score, there's nothing more important than keeping score if, when you're on a boat. If this is a sheep head, oh, no. I'm Shaquille oh, O'Neal. No. Cut the tape. <laughs> this is a walleye, Chester. Cut the tape. <laughs> Just so you know, Chester, this is the target species. Just a second, that looks more like bait fish there, Bob. That is some fine eating for, for, for a couple of fat guys like us. This is considered table fare. <laughs> that, that, and and it's, it's fat. Uh, yeah. A fat fish? Yeah, the fish do. That would be an Azumi fish. Okay. All right. <laughs> Chester, what do you I think I can't of believe this? I said that. Chester. Bob. <laughs> Let's let's go. My buddy Bob. Let's truck some of these babies up. What do you think? I'm thinking it's about time there. Where is that uh, smoker of yours? Easy now. You know what we burn in the smoker? Wood. Chester, what's your face made this of? This is not good. This is not good. This is not going to end well. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder what kind of wood Chester is. We can put him in the Bradley. This is not going to end well. <laughs> Captain, <laughs> we got a mutiny. <laughs> oh. Hey, can we put this beside each other? Yeah. Was... <laughs> yeah. You were catching Bob's secrets. Absolutely. One of the ones not everybody knows. He wears his life jacket under his shirt. All righty. Oh, <laughs> well, the Bradley smoker is going to be very happy tonight. <laughs> Everybody else that catches a fish and they go, yep, that's what I'm paid to do. And Bob says, holy crap! Okay, <laughs> look at the size of this puppy! You know, Bob, we've seen you fish. We're as shocked as you are. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. All righty. Good size walleye. Bob's an angler. Oh, now you're making it look like he's doing math. <laughs> I wonder if we pushed Bob overboard if he really would Bob. <laughs> There's more trolling out of Erio coming right up. No other fishing guys would do this. No, no. Actually, no other fishing guys returns our call. <laughs> this tip of the week is sponsored by Coleman. All right, right on the break. You know, that's one thing, folks, when it comes to uh, to fishing walleyes and is it's so easy with the right tools now in this case i got a little x67 see it's a color lorance a portable unit and why haphazardly troll around the lake when in this case you can fish exactly along the contour line by watching and using your underwater eyes what you can do is effectively cover the water at exactly where the fish are I mean, you can get in that strike zone instead of getting too deep or too shallow. By watching your depth finder, you can stay right in the fish zone. Folks, effective fishing, staying in the strike zone, very important. Hey, am I line of work? <laughs> you better be where the fish are instead of where they're not. The old saying, 90% of the fish are in 10% of the lake. So, so true. Now, Paul, you've got uh, a number of the line counter uh Dakota reels. Correct. And uh, what are the rods you're running now? I'm running all Shimano Taloras. Yep. I have probably four different models I'm running here today. Um, the ones I run off the boards are these seven foot uh, one piece. I like them as a nice board rod. As you, you see here, I just let this line out. See the difference of the two rods? It's got a very soft tip. Right. There's a fish on the outside one. Right here? You can see it's loaded yeah, let's up. See. Let's see. Let's just pull it out and see here. Okay. so. So you like you like the uh, shorter rods for the board? Yeah, they're easier to set. And then uh, on the dipsy rods, what I'm doing here is I run a, a nine foot uh, uh, dipsy rod on the inside, and I run a ten on the outside. So they see how they kind of so work they within inside each other. So they spread out. Once they're in the rod holder, they're going to naturally spread out because of the uh, foot difference. Then. Yeah, and also I'm running the outside dipsies at like a three, and the inside ones at a one and a half. So it gives you that nice spread, and you can run multiple dipsies off the side. Now you talked about the depths earlier. What? How deep of water are we fishing out here? Right now we're in 65 feet. 65. Okay. Yeah, we're about eight miles from the harbor of Erio. This is one fish factory out on Erio, and uh, I don't know if we got a walleye on here. I, I suspect we do. Yeah, the way it hit, it looked like a walleye bite, Bob. A lot of guys with the heavier salmon gear, 
and the heavier action rods are going to be fishing, dragging around those small pan fish without knowing that they're on the line. These these can tell you when something's you pick up a piece of weed or something uh, sm small fish like that. It is. Oh, it's looking uh, it's kind of airplaney. Yeah, we're talking <laughs> not a netter. <laughs> not a netter. Catch and release. Catch and release. All righty. <laughs> Nope, another fish. Double header. Okay. And they turned the clicker off. Okay. Whoa, baby. Oh, are we locking up? No, no, mine's going for a run. It wants to go over to Ohio and see what's happening over in the uh, U.S. Ooh, mine's going for a run. I think they know each other. <laughs> if they do, they don't like each other. Okay. Okay, we'll get them both in the net. Ready? Okay. Uh, this is so much this is fun. Double out header, there. double netter. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. All righty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you, Captain. Look at that. Well, I can see my hook goes to the larger one. <laughs> yes, sir. Almost oh, All righty. Almost blue. There you go, Chester. That one's for you. That's mine, buddy. That's <laughs> mine. We're having lunch. Thank you very much for having us out here. This has been a great day. Paul, you've done a heck of a job. Thank you very much. Crocker, this is going to be something for the books. This is going to be something for the books. Then trickle this salt. you got to kiss your first mission. You don't kiss, all right? You know, you're going to be slipping me the tongue. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Cut the tape. Don't be putting that on. I don't want all the guys back at the shop thinking, you know, I'm getting a little weird. Okay, being out here in the sun, as long as we have, things get a little, you know, you, you lose your perspective just a little bit. That's right. That's right. So far, it's been a great day. Bob's a good guy. He's a regular guy. He, he enjoys catching the fish just as much as we do. I'm sure he does. And, and if he doesn't, he, he sure makes it believable. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> the real fishing show? The real fishing show. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the, re the real fishing show. Watch again. Do I get a t shirt? <laughs> what a day down here at Erie O on Lake Erie, my old stomping grounds. We'll see you next week right here for some more real fishing. Look at the size of this puppy. Try to get them over your belly there, Bob. The real fishing show. Watch again. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big fish. That is a fish of a lifetime. Whoa. <laughs> well, that is just amazing. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was too cool. Oh man, what a fish. Look at that. <laughs> yes.